At the beginning of the movie story, we are shown a boy named Paul. He had an interview for a job today, but as soon as he got up, everything was going wrong with him. Sometimes he lost his something, sometimes his shoe was torn. Seeing all this happening to him, it seems that he should not give this interview today, but still, he gets stuck in the line of that cafe, where he had an interview today. But there was a crowd of people there, many people were in the line. Then a man comes to Paul here, who tells him that I have taught you, I am your professor and he hopes to meet Paul again. After saying this, he left from there. When Paul comes to stand in the line for the interview again, he sees that the crowd has increased there. A dog runs away taking his scarf from his hand. Paul runs after that dog, but that dog has gone missing in the street. Then Paul's eyes fell on a door there, which was open. It was written about a job and an interview there. Paul reads it and goes inside. Upon entering, he meets a girl named Sophie, who had also come for a job interview. Paul sits next to her and starts talking. Then a man named Dennis comes, who was calling Paul inside to give an interview. Paul was surprised to hear that he had not even told them his name yet. So how do these people know about his name? Anyway, Paul goes inside, where all the head members of that company were sitting, the owner of that company, whose name is Wells. He asks Paul how did you get here to give an interview. Paul tells him his whole story. He says that since I woke up in the morning, everything is going wrong with me. On coming, my bus was missed. After that, the cafe where I had to go for an interview, there was a lot of crowd there. When I stood in the line, a dog ran this way with my scarf. Then I saw a door and I did not know that there was a company here. While talking, Paul was looking at a wall again and again. Wells asks, what are you looking at there again and again? He says that the wall in front of me, I think, is a map of London, which is a little strange. Upon hearing this, all the other people who were sitting there were surprised. Then after that, the same man Dennis comes, who had called Paul inside. He says to Paul, now you can go from here. Poor Paul also understood that who would give him a job in such a big company. Paul had come out of the same door, where now there was a dog who had run away with his scarf. He returns it. Paul had come home. Upon coming here, he finds out that the boy, who used to live with him is leaving his room. Upon hearing this, he gets more worried, because now he had to pay all the rent for this room. But the problem was that he had not got a job anywhere yet. When he was talking to the same boy about this, then a letter comes to his house and falls, in which it was written that Wells has hired him. Upon hearing this, there was no place for his happiness. The next day he gets ready and reaches the company, where he meets a lady at the reception. Then Dennis had come there. Dennis was actually a special man of Wells. He takes Paul with him. But Paul was still worried about what this company does, and what he will do by staying here. Dennis leaves him at the place where Paul had to work. There he sees that the same girl Sophie, whom he met during the interview, was sitting. It means these people had also hired her. 
Paul has coffee in his hand. Seeing which Sophie says that I do not like chocolate and coffee at all. So please throw it away. Do not drink in front of me. Paul talks to Sophie that these people have hired us. But what will be our work, and what do we have to do by staying here? Sophie says, just keep quiet, how much do you speak? Then a receptionist lady comes to them, who has brought a lot of maps for them. She tells them to find a name for a special place on those maps. Both were busy with their work. Even after searching a lot, they did not get the name of that special place. There was also a break. When both came down during the break, a lady working in the same company brought them both out. And she says to Sophie that you see that girl in front of you, who is reading a book sitting in the garden. You have to read her book and her mind. She is reading a story. When the character of her story will fall into the water, just tell me then. On this, Sophie says, how can I read the girl's book from so far? That lady says to Sophie, believe me, you can do it. After which the lady herself goes to the garden and sits. After a while, a boy comes and sits near the fountain in the garden. There, Sophie reads the girl's mind and book very well. As soon as her character falls into the water, Sophie tells this to the same lady. Then that lady drops that boy in the water, who was sitting near the fountain. Then the same girl comes and helps the girl, who was reading the book. On them, um, the girl and boy become very good friends. Now that lady comes to Sophie and says that I work in the coincidence department in this company. Where all the work is done in such a way, that is if there is a coincidence. Suddenly some work happens and that boy and girl, will also feel that they have met by chance. But the girl's dad, had given us a lot of money to introduce us to that boy. Our company works like this. And Sophie, you can read the mind, that's why you have been kept in this company. You will work in my department. She takes Sophie with her. Actually, this company was a magical company, where along with humans, witches and goblins monsters like humans also worked. Paul goes back to his place from here. He again started looking for that special place on the map. But still, he does not see it anywhere. Then the owner of the company Wells comes to him. Who tells him that you will never be able to find that place on the map. He rolls his hand over that map and also teaches Paul. Says that the place where you will get a current on your hand, that will be the special place from which you will know. After which he takes Paul with him. Paul asks Wells what does your company do? He tells him that our company, does the work of changing people's feelings. Like making a person fall in love, or getting someone divorced. He takes all this to Paul in his office and says, Paul, do you know? You have a speciality inside. You can find hidden things, which a common man cannot see. Your eyes can find them. Your mom and dad will be proud of you. And I saw this in you when, you came to give the interview for the first time. You had found a map on that wall. Then Dennis comes there, who tells Wells that no, Paul cannot do this. His dad did not love him at all. Hearing this, Wells says that no, 
This does not make any difference to these things. My dad also hated me. He got me to sign a contract that if I cheated him, then he will imprison my soul. But now my dad is not in this world, so I am free. Wells tells Paul to find a portable door here, which is also the name of this movie. He tells him that it is very special. It is a magical door from which we can go anywhere. And you are here so that you can find that door. I cannot find that portable door, which is hidden in this building. But never tell anyone about this. Paul now starts looking for that door everywhere in the building. Then a lady from the same company comes to him, who was actually a witch, a magician. Her hair was flying in the air. She comes to Paul and asks if Wells has told you to find something. But as Wells had said, do not tell anyone about this. So Paul does not tell her anything and goes away. When he was sleeping at his house at night, then a man from Wells' company comes to him. He was also asking what Wells has told you to find, which Paul also refuses to tell him. So because of this, that man breaks Paul's feet and makes his ears long. Then Paul tells him that please do not do this. Okay, I'll tell you. I have to find a door. Hearing this, that man went away. Paul's eyes open, there was no one there. He thinks that maybe it was just a dream of his. But that man actually came to Paul. The next day, Paul again goes to the company and starts looking for the same portable door. As he was looking for that door, he came to the company's basement. Then Dennis also follows him, who tells him that what are you doing here? Go away from here and never come here again. On the other hand, Sophie was also working in the coincidence department. She used to make people meet by chance, but now she feels some changes in herself. She felt that someone was controlling her heart and mind. That's why she wanted to leave this job now. She talks to the head of this department about this. On which the lady says that you cannot leave this job like this, because you have signed a contract paper. That's when Paul comes there. Who tells her to come with me? Sophie eats chocolate in front of him. Paul asks that until yesterday you did not like these things at all. What happened to you today? He takes her to a bar with him. Where she tells him that I don't know what has happened to me. The things I never liked, I have started liking them now. Hearing all this, Paul says, don't worry. This often happens. Sophie says, you are working with Wells these days, right? I have heard. My head was telling me that one day, he had made his dad disappear somewhere. After which Wells' dad could not be found till today. So be careful with them. I think Dennis and Wells want to do something in the company. The next day, like every day, Paul goes to the company and starts looking for the same portable door. He had come back to the same basement, where Dennis had forbidden him to come. That door, while looking for the door, reaches near a wall. Where he was feeling something different. He finds out from his powers that it is not a wall, but a way to some place. When Paul goes inside it, it was a magician's room where some strange things were lying. 
There he also sees a big stapler lying there. When he touches it, he finds out from his power, that he was a goblin. Paul uses his power to find the portable door to which Wells had told him to find. Now, with the help of that portable door, he comes back to the company. That door had turned into a towel. He comes to the company and secretly listens to Wells, where he was telling everyone that he was experimenting on the people of his office. He will change the likes and dislikes of those people, their feelings and everything about them. After which he can run those people in his own way. And the first victim of his experiment was Sophie. Because the contract papers she had signed, were about the same thing. And this was the reason that Sophie was seeing change in herself. Hearing all this, Paul starts running away from here when he tries to open that door. But now that towel was not changing in the door. Then Paul reads some things written on that bag, on which it was written to open the door, that you have to say knock knock three times. And then you have to take the name of the place, where you have to go. Now Paul says knock knock three times, and takes the name of the supermarket by which he had reached the supermarket's fridge then he goes to sophie and tells her the whole truth that wells is experimenting on you and also about that portable door sophie is happy to hear about that magical door she had forgotten everything about herself she says to Paul that with the help of this door, we can go anywhere. Come on Paul, let's forget everything, and come around the world. Sophie and Paul first go to the pyramid. Then in the snowy areas, sometimes the mountains and then the seaside. They were having a lot of fun around the world. Sitting by the sea, Paul asks Sophie. Did you sign any contract papers? She replies that yes, it was a training program. But now I think that maybe that's why all this is happening to me. Anyway, now, with the help of that portable door, they come back to the company. And start looking for that contract. That's when they get a contract in the name of a man in which they find out that Wells steals people's soul here. He first gets people signed on the contract paper. After that, he deposits that paper in the bank of the dead. In this way, he could have imprisoned that man's soul. They were reading that paper. That's when a lot of goblin monsters come there. They were scared and ran away from there. That's when Dennis comes in front of them. When they tell him that there are a lot of monsters behind us. That's when they see that Dennis is also a goblin. After a while, Wells also comes there. That's when they were arguing about something. Taking advantage of this, Paul and Sophie ran away from here with the help of that portable door. But by mistake, that door remains open. That's when Wells sends them to a place, where there was a jail. There, Sophie and Paul meet a man in this jail, who was actually Wells' dad. Who tells them that when I found out about my son's evil intentions, that he imprisons people's souls. So he imprisoned me in this jail so that I can never stop him. That is, what Sophie told Paul. That Wells has made his dad disappear somewhere. That was true. Later they tell them that I could not find a way out of here till today. 
On which Paul says that you had his contract. So why didn't you imprison your son's soul? He tells him that before this, I would have deposited the contract in the bank of dead. He imprisoned me here. Paul had to get out of here. He somehow uses his power to find a way out of here. They came back to the company. Wells's dad was also with them. Coming inside the company, Wells's dad gives his contract papers to Paul and Sophie so that he can deposit it in the bank of dead. And he himself came to Wells. Wells was quite surprised to see his dad. How did he become free after so many years? When Paul and Sophie were going to the bank of dead, that's when a lot of goblin monsters attack them. Wells's dad quickly asks the receptionist lady to bring a stapler. Actually, it was the same stapler that Paul had seen in the magician's room. That room was not of anyone else, but it was of Wells. When Wells's dad tells the receptionist lady to fly the stapler in the air, as soon as she does this, Wells's dad frees the imprisoned goblin in the stapler with his magic. Who was the leader of all the goblins? He tells all his companions to go away from Paul and Sophie. Actually, the leader of the goblins was the husband of the receptionist lady. Dennis was the son of both of them, which means he was also a goblin. On the other hand, Wells imprisons his dad with his powers. That's when the rest of the company came there. Who was explaining to Wells not to do this? But he tells Paul here that if you don't return my contract, I'll kill Sophie. Because Paul loved Sophie, he was going to give the contract papers to Wells to save her life. That's when Sophie talks to Paul with gestures. She says that there was no door to come out of jail, Paul. You made the door to come by using your powers. And now you can use your power to make a door. That's when Paul listens to Sophie and uses his power. He had made a lot of doors there. That's when he finds the door to the bank of the dead and goes into it. And the receptionist lady there gets Wells's contract deposited. As soon as he did this, all of Wells's powers were gone. His dad imprisons him in the same place where Wells had imprisoned his dad. Paul had returned from the bank of the dead. Sophie hugs him. She was very happy that he saved her life. He returns Sophie her contract. Wells's dad had taken his seat again in his company. He now keeps Paul and Sophie in his company and gives a high post. Paul asks Sophie, do you like me? Sophie also said yes. And showing this happy ending, the story of this film ends here.